guys? Welcome to another Wicked Wednesday here on the House of Horror. And uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the film called Rubber. This is a film I watched a few weeks ago. and I thought somebody else had already reviewed it on the channel, but I went and looked and, and nobody's reviewed it yet. So i go ahead and uh, talk about this one for a minute. This is, of course, the Killer Tire movie. I'm sure all you guys have heard of this by now. But uh, it's directed by Quentin Dupieux. And it stars Steven Spinella, Roxanne Mesquita, uh, Jack Plotnick, and Wings Hauser. Um, a lot of those actors are not very familiar to me. Um, I know the Roxanne uh, Mesquita, she was in the film uh, Chitan, or it's also known as Satan, the uh, French film. A lot of you guys have probably seen that. It was a really good movie, too. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is. Uh, it's one of those like either love it or hate it type movies. You either like are really into the different kind of stuff they're doing, or you hate that it's going against the norm. Um, I was just reading some 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 of the comments on the message board over it, the uh, the IMDb website, which of course you know that's notorious for having like lots of crazy people on there, but. Yeah, I mean, the general consensus is most people don't really seem to get this movie. So, um, yeah, it's about a killer tire who uh, it just, like, miraculously comes to life. The tire comes to life and realizes that not only is he a tire that's alive and able to move around and can think for himself, that he has telepathic powers where he can blow things up. And he uses those powers to kill people basically blow their head off um, and uh, yeah he just goes through the desert doing that and while this is all going on uh, it's it's <laughs> there's like a big group of spectators that's watching this they all have binoculars and they're watching and they're constantly commenting about what's going on it's like they're watching a movie it's just this whole bizarre thing and the whole movie is meant to be really bizarre but yeah, the tire, uh, he gets infatuated with this one girl he sees and uh, starts following her around and, you know, kind of stalking her a little bit. And, uh, you know, that's basically what the tire does walks around or rolls around uh, killing people. And not really a whole lot more of the plot than that. But uh, I think this film is pretty cool. It, 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 you know, tries to do something different that you haven't seen all the time. And I think that's really why people get pissed off at it, that it's not like the same bullshit formula they've seen over and over again. And I usually like stuff like that, so I think this movie's pretty cool. I, I had it pre-ordered, you know, way back when it was first available, and I finally got it in the mail back in uh, June when it came out and checked it out, and I've watched it a few times. But, uh, you know, I like the fact that it's trying to do something different. The, the director obviously was, you know, trying to make this film that people are going to talk about like oh shit it's a it's a killer tire seriously so i don't know i think it's gotten a little bit of buzz in the in the uh, horror community just because it is so crazy but uh the gore effects are pretty good in the movie it's really not a whole lot to it you basically just see like there's a head there and then there's just a big you know red explosion and there's no head so Really not a whole lot of gore to it, even though it's like says on here, like on the, the, the quote here, funny, gory, and downright insane. Um, I'd pretty much agree with that, but, you know, it's not like really good gore or anything. Uh, the film is, I think it's shot on DV, uh, it, it, at least it looks like it is, but it looks really good. It looks really good on Blu-ray. Um, it shows a lot of the shots of the desert, and it looks really cool. Um but yeah, it's, you know, intentionally trying to be something that you haven't seen before. Um, the opening scene of the film, it has this guy. He's, uh, well, you see this car driving down this uh, straightaway very slowly. It's knocking over chairs. There's chairs set up. And it's knocking the chairs over one by one. And then it eventually stops and a guy gets out of the trunk. And, yeah, and it starts talking about, you know, uh, why this and why this starts asking all these questions about other movies and uh, references a bunch of cool movies there but um, yeah I mean it's not a whole lot to this one I would I, and I would recommend watching it but I wouldn't recommend buying it 
uh, even though I probably uh, will watch this a few more times. But it's really not a whole lot of stuff in here that you're going to get a lot of mileage out of here as far as repeat viewings. But I would check it out on a rental, you know, if you have some spare time, check it out, you know. And this is a French film that is shot in English. So, or, uh, it's a French film. I, I think it was filmed in America, too. So, French director, French ca uh, French. Some of the uh, cast is French, but French uh, crew. And uh, filmed in English, and I want to say it was filmed in uh, the U.S. There is some, some featurettes on here that has an interview with the director, and he talks about all that stuff. And one thing I wanted to mention about that interview is it's shot in reverse. Yeah, it's a little bit out there, a little bit too much for me, because I just... I wanted to see a legitimate interview about, you know, the film, like, you know, why he did some of the things he did, but, uh, yeah, that's about all the special features on here is an interview with the director and a few other short interviews with, with the cast, but the interview with the director, the, the audio was fine, you know, it was, it was dubbed over in English, but he was speaking French backwards, and it was just really, really too much, I think. It, I mean, I understand what he's trying to do, but... Give me, you know, give me something I can work with here. Um, but, yeah, the uh, special effects for the tire were pretty well done considering, you know, had a relatively low budget. I think the budget was like 500000 And uh, a lot of the stuff with the tire, it was just uh, someone was controlling the tire from off screen. Like only half of the tire was in the shot and someone was controlling it. But they do have a few shots that's independent. shows the, the whole tire by itself rolling. And I think he said he used some sort of uh, radio-controlled car or something inside the tire to make it turn. So, uh, kind of, you know, some cool concepts in there. And, you know, I definitely like stuff like this because, it, you know, it, it keeps my mind open. And I like to see people doing different things and, you know, just trying, trying some new things, you know, whether or not they're, they're, they're good or not. You know, I like to see people try. So, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Peace.